Hello everyone, Jeff here, and welcome back to Potato. Today we're going to be checking out a character from the Diversified mod, the Philosopher. He gets 1% XP gain when you pick up a consumable max health, similar to Farmer, except his XP gain instead of Harvesting. Minus 30% XP, minus 25% materials drop, but you get 5 Harvesting for every either melee, ranged, elemental, or engineering you have, so we can take all the damage stats we want. We do have a few mods installed, so we can kind of take what we want here. Um... Now, Pruner, it makes sense for the XP gain, so let's do that. I also am going to turn on the second chance mod that I downloaded and see how that works. I've definitely lost a lot of recording time to um, randomly not paying attention due to IRL <laughs> uh, distractions and then just like casually losing a run on wave 15, so maybe second chance is something you'd be interested in, you know. I don't know exactly how it works, so we'll test it out if we die. Hopefully we don't die, though. Uh, I'm going to take two engineering, because that's 10 harvesting. Uh, I'm not going to take this, because it's bad. So pruner. Let's roll. Um, this is super weird. I think we still want to go after pruners as best we can here. Oh, we definitely want one cent. That's literally just money. Uh, I don't think we want to start doing cigarettes. Um, much like real life, there's very little benefit to that. We could take Scarecrow for um, 10 harvesting. That seems good. Yeah, it seems fine. Uh, only two pruners kind of sucks, but it's all right. Because really the only ne negative this character has is the 25% less materials drop, which is a, that's a sizable amount, but... Um, I don't think there's another character that like generates harvesting quite like this guy with all of your damage stats. We might have to do an endless run with him, honestly, because I think we could do some stupid things. I'm going to take two engineering again. Um, we'd like to, oh, oh, is this just 15? Yep. Okay. Take a pruner. It's fine. Uh, we don't really need Scar, it doesn't feel like. So Harvesting is going to be doing most of the work for us here. Uh, well, one thing to note, our, our XP increase is um, actually happening. I'm going to pause here when I get to a safer spot. Um, yeah, we're at 9% XP gain. It's just there's no um, icon for XP gain in the game unlike harvesting and stuff like that, so you don't actually get to see that when it happens. Um, I mean, taking harvesting seems incredibly silly. Let's take attack speed. Take two armor, make us safe. A pruner, sure, 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 sure. I don't think we want anal epic, Um, and I also don't think we want any hormones. What a combo. Uh, Gentle Alien is a pass. Claw Tree seems incredible. Definitely take coffee. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, coffee's a big one here. Um, you know, normally common items aren't that impactful, but 10% attack speed when you're in the negative is kind of a big deal. Especially with a weapon that's, quite frankly, not very fast to begin with anyway. This character is kind of neat, although I notice his icon is quite literally appears to be the wizard beard plus some glasses. If I'm seeing this correctly. <laughs> Compared to other characters in this mod where one is a literal child. Uh, I'll take three engineering. That is harvesting. Um... I take attack speed, probably take attack speed here. I guess we should take landmines. And a coupon. I wish the coupon had come in the other order. Coke? Mmm, love me some Coke in a bottle. Not so much Coke in a can, gotta be honest. I think Coke in a can kind of sucks. Um, Coke in a bottle is delicious, though. It's weird. I can't be the only one who feels that way, right? Like. Right, there's nothing wrong if you like Coke in a can, obviously, but 
the difference between Coke in a bottle and Coke in a can is, um, quite frankly, it's absurd. Uh, one is absolutely delicious and it's like just straight up cocaine and the other one is just a sugary drink as far as I'm concerned. I, I mean, we can all agree that it's just a better drink than Pepsi, so I there's that. Um, Pepsi products in general kind of fall behind in almost every aspect. Uh, a factory? What the hell? This is new. Okay, so... It used to be it spawns a factory that produces a material over three seconds. Now, mind you, that was like six days ago that it did that. Now, apply 4.8% toxin to surrounding enemies per second. Toxin deals X percent of the enemy's initial health damage per second with a minimum of one. Stackable and up to 100% per second. Dissipates over time. Some enemies have toxin what the hell is happening uh, i'll take it sure sure give me band tape what can't you do with some band tape oh the good we got our pruners that's that's a good it's a good thing There's another pruner all right all right what's going on with this um toxic factor Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh oh uh oh the game stuttered as soon as that uh, uh applied toxic that has me mildly concerned i don't really want to crash the game as i am enjoying this run and character uh it this does happen with some of the mods like, some mods are small and self-contained and don't really add too much but ones that do add Specifically, mechanics sometimes have some problems. I know this from experience messing with the mods back before it was on the workshop. It can be difficult sometimes. 20 harvesting, minus 5 max HP. We don't really need that. I'd honestly just take the dodge. Um, 6 melee damage is 30 harvesting? <laughs> and damage? Okay... Okay, Spatial Anomaly. Um, that seems good. And then a Pruner. Big fan of the tentacles. Big fan. We could take Boiling Water too. It's two elemental damage and ten... <laughs> and ten harvesting. So... I think the 10, like the five per damage stat might be a little much in the harvesting. But it is interesting to have a character that incentivizes getting multiple types of damage because it doesn't really exist in the game right now um, in any meaningful way. Uh, most characters really want you to be one type. That was one thing I was interested in when I was like messing with mods and stuff was, you know, characters who you know you get range damage and then you get you know elemental damage for your range damage and there's some type of benefit off that or you know just as an example but like you also need the weapons to make that work so there's layers to how difficult it is and that's why it's not you know really in the game yet although i do see that coming in the future for brotato um yeah, those were fine upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and take Silver Bullet. It's just worth it. Uh, give me Boiling Water for Harvesting. Uh, um, You know what? I'll take the bait. It's fine. Naginata. One of the cooler weapons. It's from the Dead Samurai mod. It's a standalone mod, so it doesn't really break your game. Highly recommend. We could take Album Al Albumium Powder. Uh, um... Okay, I like harvesting. Also, we do have that second chance mod on, I guess. So, oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm not a fan of the bait, especially when we don't do much. Okay, I guess we get to try out second chance. What happens? Did we survive the wave? We run back the wave, but you get the benefit. Oh, huh. Okay, well, I have tested it out for the sake of science now. Did... Do we still maintain what we bought? We do. Ah, uh, I don't know. It definitely makes the game easier. 
which I'm not... I'm not too big on trying to make the game easier. I will say, though... Um, there is some merit to having a second chance type thing in, uh, in Brotato. Because you can have some, some situations where you really shouldn't lose, and then you do. Uh, I wasn't expecting to actually use it, but, um, you know, sometimes deaths happen. You know, and we're playing modded anyway, right? So this is all nonsense. I would not use it in, you know, vanilla. Mostly because it's much more balanced. But here we're doing, we have a factory that spits out poison and gives us materials. I'd like, what the hell? Um, uh, let's take 12% damage. Six melee damage. Seems fine. Um, kind of like the crit. Let's take more 12% damage here and then take a pruner. Um, we can take this so we have technical HP regen. Because so we take the beaker. And do this and this and this and this. We have 358. Um... That attacks have a 25% a 20% chance to apply 5% toxin. I'm not going to take this because I think it's going to break the game uh, straight up. That's where I'm at with that. It's cool, but yeah. 10 harvesting, 2 engineering, 1 attack. Okay, sure. <laughs> when you add 5 harvesting to some of these items, they become pretty good. That's what I'm seeing. So maybe this guy plus farmer. This guy plus farmer in uh in endless. Hmm. Hmm. It may be time. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know I'm not a huge fan of endless, but. If we see something truly degenerate like this, it's, um, I can be tempted. I did my one requested run and we got to like wave 70 until I realized that uh, I'd sabotaged myself. Ooh, almost died there. Um, Let's take 12% more damage and 45 range. Sure, just take the good upgrades. I will take this because it is also harvesting. We don't want damage down. That's a big thing. I think that matters too. Damage down is really bad for us, which is also kind of interesting. Um, let's roll. Buy next item for free. Buy next item for free. Okay. I will take a free vigilante ring. Cool. Cool. Good item. Good. I like it. That's actually fun. Toxin regression. Okay. We gotta... We gotta chill. We These type of mechanics need to be in a separate mod. I'm straight up. Um, Alienize is fine, but we're... Yeah, we should take Alienize. The cock. Do we want the cock? I think we're struggling a little bit, so let's let's you know what? Let's hold on to the cock and we'll get it next time. Let's do that. Six purple pruners. Should handle this wave pretty well. I just don't feel like we have the defenses that I'd feel comfortable with um, using off oh, here. That seems like it'd be dangerous. Be like really like a really risky cock usage. I don't know. Not not in today's economy, right? Not about it. Um. We're doing okay. Like, obviously, our damage is fine and, like, relatively spread out <laughs> because we have so much. But, I mean, we have a ton of 
harvesting too because of that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, no, I don't think we need a clock. Take 16% damage. Uh, armor? I think it's time to take some armor. As much as four engineering's intriguing. Uh, four melee damages. Bananas. Alright. Uh, let's take the cock. And now... Now I'm interested in some HP. Some coke. Nice. Uh, wheat. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Neutral. Uh, wheat is 4 melee damage and 30 harvesting. It's pretty okay. Pretty okay. Um... I really just want HP, to be honest with you guys. Too early for home owns. It's just kind of weird. Ooh, ooh, okay. Pruner, metal plate, steel. Um. What if we took a flamethrower? We have elemental damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steal a flamethrower. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we gotta remember we have, uh... We have the cock going, so let's, let's, uh... Let's be careful here. Casual 40 HP is not going to do it. Uh, steel is a super fun item. I don't think it should be common, obviously. Um, I... Personally, I think it's fun enough that you could put that in, like, the main game. Like, that's something Blobfish should just straight up steal that idea and put in the game. Um, I would put it under... Epic. For sure. Like, it still costs zero. I get that. But I don't, you know, you want it showing up fairly rarely. And I think that's one way to do it. I don't care that we're not picking up materials here really anymore. anymore. We have so much harvesting. Take an ugly tooth. It's fine. Um, I will take melee damage, I guess. Could take armor. You just take armor. It's fine. Just be safe. Four elemental. Sure. Oh, four armor. Okay. Well. Um, we don't really need luck. We just don't. I'll take an alien worm. Fine with that. Take another pruner. Oh, I should have taken the the box. It was another 30 harvesting. Ugh. Um Do we want a sedative? I mean, in real life it'd be nice. It's a stressful morning. But no. Oh, Tyler. 28 damage, Tyler. Sign me up. Um, 5% cactus. That seems okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. It has 15 harvesting attached. And I will also take a campfire. It's a bonfire. Turn the lights out. That, I, I've been listening to that a bit lately, the, bon, uh, it's not called Bonfire, what's the album called? Childish Gambino's first album, Camp? Camp? Yeah, that album is awesome. It is, it is a joy, and I appreciate my friend for dropping that one on me quite a few years ago. Really, like, I was a metal guy for most of my life, but my music tastes have expanded quite a bit. It's still still a prog metal guy at heart. Or, well, now I'm a grunge guy at heart. I grew up in the 90s, let's be real. Um, Alice in Chains all day. But but I appreciate a lot of music now. And I think that, I would assume that's something that happens to everybody as you grow up, but maybe not. These are choices there's also the other choice since we got a legendary role like this that we could just um, pitch this hand for try to get health. 
I think I'm just gonna take damage. No, speed is too good in there. I'm taking max HP. We need some. Another tentacle. Pruner. Metal plate. Oh, good. A rocket launcher. Okay. Look. Look, here's the thing. There's only so many times in my potato career where I've been able to say, hey, look, I have pruners are, you know, some type of melee support weapon and a rocket launcher and a flamethrower and them all actually be good. I would like to see it shouldn't be common. That's I think that's the real joke here. Um, let's do this. Let's do sunglasses. Cindery, steal, roll. Uh, roll one more time. Ooh. I do not want inflation. That can suck my nut. Uh, oh, schmoop. It's minus 15 harvesting. I don't know. Let's just steal a flamethrower. You know what? We stole the first one. Let's steal the second one. And I should have saved the pruner, but it's okay. We should probably not let these things hatch. Like, we're obviously very strong right now and only going to get stronger as we go due to obscene amounts of harvesting. But um, I don't think we're invincible by any means. We don't have a lot of lifesteal, so... And by that, I mean, we have zero. Negative, in fact. Negative lifesteal. This is... This character has me just like conceptually wondering what we could do to make these types of characters viable. Because it is much more fun using a variety of weapons than using the same one. Hey, it's my buddy Elusive Ghost. If you haven't subbed to his channel, go sub to his channel. He makes fairly similar content to me. He's uh, very cool. A uh, very cool guy. He's in the roguelike space. If you like a chill British accent, he is your guy. Um, also, his item is stupid. And it's funny because we don't have any of the items for his thing. He's a dodge and lifesteal, but we're going to take it so that now every stat is good for us. Um, let's... It's hard not to take melee damage, but we also we take 20% attack speed. Let's roll. Nine max HP. All right, so this works as dodge is actually not capped at five. It's increased by five, so we have our 65% dodge. 2% of your life steal for every 1% dodge, which isn't helping. 20% uh, of your life steals converted to dodge. So we need to get dodge for this to work. Um, spider doesn't help us do that, but we're going to take it anyway because it's really good. Uh, Lego seems absolutely broken. I don't know why this is in the game, but we'll take it. Um, there's a rocket launcher, but it's the wrong color. Okay, so we're looking for dodge. What is our XP gain at 272? That's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, there's a flamethrower. I like that. Beer gives us negative dodge. That seems bad. Uh, bamboo slip gives us 20 harvesting. And all these stats. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Still no dodge. OK, whatever. It is what it is. We'll we'll manage. We just need to pick up some pick up some dodge. It is a uh, elusive ghost is a self fulfilling item. You just have to have dodge to get it going. Perhaps my mod my item will show up. Uh, that is from GMO, by the way. It's an unlock from beating game with ghost and. Um, 
What was the other character? It was Ghost and something. I don't remember. It was not Ghost Chunky. It was the other one. That's what I know. Meanwhile, um... This is the strangest build in the mm, lifetime of Brotato, feels like. It almost feels like an endless build because we're just taking stats. Uh, I, I really want dodge at this point. Yeah, like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a little bit better. See, now we have 22%. Now we have 22% lifesteal for each dodge, but then it's going to convert lifesteal to dodge and it like does this whole thing, but it's fine. All right, now that that's settled, um, our speed's kind of low, but I do want more crit chance. The furry doll. Oh, let's dodge down. I hate that, but I don't think we can pass it. We have a lot of elemental damage. I am going to skip the acid. Let's take a silver bullet. There's a lot of elites coming. Take glasses too. Lemonade. Everything seems fine. Uh, medical turret's not bad either. Sure. We're attacking on melee ranged elemental and engineering. We have configured Exodia. Not even that, we're also adding Toxic with our Mr. Burns plant over here. I'm gonna make us some three-eyed elephant. Elephants? Three-eyed elephants? Three-eyed aliens? Would Dumbo have been a better movie if Dumbo had three eyes? Would it have made it less racist? Has anyone, like, looked at that recently? Like, I've seen clips of it in the past few months or so, and it's... Uh... It's one thing as a child, you don't really think about... race a lot. You know, when you're, like, five years old or whatnot. You just don't... Everybody's just a person. At least at the time I was growing up. Um... <laughs> but, uh... How the hell did they get away with that? I guess, I guess it was a bad time in the country, right? Uh, I will take another one cent. Piggy bank is just, I'm spending all my money every time. I don't want to take campfire because I want speed. Plague. All right, I, I want to take plague, but I don't want to break this run. We're going to try this another time. An antenna. Mm, nah. Not the rocket launcher we're looking for here. Take Cyclops one. Take Pocket Watch. Fortress. Fortress is dodge down. But it's also damage up. Mm, okay. Determination. This is new. Lose 50% of your max HP when you die and protect you from death in that wave. Ooh. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Every time? It's a phoenix feather every single wave? That's kind of messed up. Says the guy who used the second chance mod earlier. Uh, we're going to take it. <laughs> it probably breaks the game, though. Oh, anal epic. One day. One day. This has been the least PG video I think I've ever recorded. All right, well, the Rhino didn't last very long and Furry is doing some serious work here. He's uh, really getting busy. Is it only when they die from elemental damage? Like, how does how does this thing work? Oh, it's just got a 10% chance to did the game? Okay, the audio kept going, but the game didn't pause. Thought for a second the game decided to keep running while I was paused, which would have been a little bit odd. Give me some more XP gain. I need more levels. We're already 37. 
Yeah, so maybe Philosopher Farmer is a, uh... Is a real contender. Holy... Uh, yeah, I'll take 124 luck. Sure. Dodge. Yes. Melee damage. Um... Sure. Dodge again. Determination. Uh, I'd be gonna try not to die because there's a decent chance that Determination actually breaks the game. Hmm, Naganata does uh, an enormous amount of damage. Steel. Okay, we'll take a steel. Again, it shouldn't be that price, but whatever. Uh, Bandana's cute. Don't really need it. To steal a recycling machine. Dangerous bunny. There's our rocket launcher. Grinds, you're a little late, but just just in just in time to be worth buying, I'm thinking. Just barely squeaking in. For those of you still watching, thank you. Also, today is an exciting day. I just last night got all the pieces of my new computer uh, in. And today I will be building it and then hopefully I can start using it for stuff. Like obviously didn't really need a stronger machine for potato content, but there were a few other things that maybe we wanted to try that I couldn't have done before because, well, I've been recording this on a old a uh, few year old laptop it's got a 1060 ti um on a laptop which has honestly overperformed but it does get a little hot so there's some downsides uh i'm upgrading to a 4070 and a i7 137 so i'll be able to play literally whatever so you know when games come out that we're interested in we go all in. Um, dodge. Um, I guess we don't have any luck, huh? Riff, riffing, riffing. Is that what we're doing? Rifling. Oh, that makes sense. It's got the James Bond thing. That actually, that's a really good item for. Well, kind of. It's kind of expensive. I don't know. Oh, my shades. Yeah, that's um, that's good. So this is another one of the unlocks from GMO. 3% attack speed when you take damage to the end of the wave. 6% damage. You take one damage per second, which triggers the attack speed and then minus six, uh, minus eight range. Uh, it's it's um, really strong. It's really strong. Really, really broken. Um, I don't really know what we're after at this point. I guess range and speed. Virus and spill. I'm tempted, but... Ooh, we could... Oh. No, it has dodge down. I just don't want to do it. All right, let's take, let's take a Cyclops Worm thing to steal. And we could... Steal... Sunglasses, I guess. I don't know. Let's take tentacle and we'll lock in the glasses. We need to get our range and speed up, so we're, so we're just all green. We're incredibly buff right now. This is kind of showing off the benefit of that second chance mod, though, I will say. Because um, we did, you know, we died on like wave seven or whatever, which I, we shouldn't have. That was just me playing poorly. But sometimes it happens, right? Um, and look where we are now. The run that would have never been. The boy who lived because uh, of a second chance. Sometimes it's all it takes. Sometimes that's all it takes. It's a good thing we have uh, 900 harvest. Let's keep increasing that number. 
speed, um, range. All right, we're officially all green. I that's something that makes me happy. Uh, exploit 100% chance to deal 59 damage when you pick up an. Yeah, sure, sure. Why not? Take a rocket launcher. I mean, whatever. No. Uh, okay. We will take a nuke launcher though. Bye, pruner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, a second exploit. Scared sausage. I don't know what we're doing. Trees. Give me both of these. All right. All right. I feel bad for this elite. Oh, Mr. Butcher, how are you? Oh, that was. That was rough. We're also level 44. Uh, most Rotato runs end at level 25 ish. In my experience, give or take, you know, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Uh, depending on your XP gain items and whatnot and your class and how many enemies there are. There's a lot of factors, but generally between 23 and 27, I think, are the average run ends. So we're about 20 over that, which is just a lot of stats. It's it's really hard to emphasize because it's something probably most people would look over. At the end of the run, like how strong this character is. Uh, no, we do not want that. Uh, I will take that one. I'm skip that one. I guess we take speed and get all these numbers as high as possible. Good chance. Sure. Poisonous tonic banner. Yep, 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 yep. I guess we take hormone too. Now it's time for hormones. One engineering for every speed you have, one armor for every nine of Nate. One engineering for every 1% speed you have, one armor for every minus 2% speed you have. So if you have speed, you get engineering. If you don't have speed, you get armor. That's an interesting item. Um, Chainsaw Man. A labor contract. Six, just the number six. It's just the number six. It's 10 attack speed and five luck. I don't get it. Can somebody please explain it to me in the comments? I don't understand. I'm so confused right now. Uh, give me, give me alloy. Alloy is an obscene amount of harvesting that we don't really need, but it's funny. Um, I'm still not buying handcuffs yet. Six shows up again. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Wait, do we have enough? We have five, so we have six. We would not have enough to buy it this time. But next time we get ourselves a nuclear launcher. Also, what is Kronos? That seems really strong. I'm going to buy a glass cannon. We're going to save those two. So I think we're going to end with two nuke launchers. Seems like a decent plan. Made a drug called Kronos. It's actually just speed. Like. But they wanted it to sound fancy. This is one of the most disgustingly powerful characters I've ever had, and it's just having a great time. A lot of times when you get super strong, it gets kind of boring because like what am I doing? I could stand still right now and it wouldn't matter. Everything just gonna die. But the fact that every stat does something for me now, like, I don't know. This is just enjoyable. Just enjoyable. Uh, I'll take lemonade. Anal epic. Well, for science, I think we have to take it. Um, engineering, melee damage, uh, elemental damage, 
sell this, buy a nuke launcher. That's right, we're not even using dual class. This is just Philosopher by himself. Good lord. Um. Hmm. Take a metal here. I'm interested in like dipping on most of the. Well, no, Pruner's actually probably a little bit better than Rocket Launcher here. Take a broken mouth though. Hunting trophy's a little late to the party, and I think we don't really need to buy cock for the 20th wave. That seems like an oversight. Um Yeah, there's not anything we're really after at this point. I guess handcuffs would be good. Knowledge, this is a weapon. Just hit him with the book. Um I'm take a gambling token. It's pretty good. Chainsaw, iron knuckles, eh, nothing really here. Triangle of power is a really good way to lose with uh, my shades. So it's weird ghost. Mm, okay, we're done. We didn't find anything else, but that's fine. We should be more than capable um, of handling. Yeah, I think he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, and then he's dead uh, less than 10 seconds. Wait, hey, we want to run with Philosopher. That's crazy. Uh, we unlocked Inspiration. Oh my god. If you could find this early, 20% XP gain at the end of a wave. Minus 5% attack speed. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, We had 482% XP gain and 1300. Uh, this character's not exactly balanced, I would say, but uh, the harvesting for every damage is kind of cool. Maybe change it to like two, two per. Incentivizing going multiple damage types is very awesome. I kind of wish you could start with lightning shiv. Maybe try that next time. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's a fun video. Um, I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.